Who sings thus? A human? A bird? A spirit? In the Central African Republic, they're known as the Barka. In the Congo, the Mobuti. In Cameroon, Effie. The pygmies ignore borders. Their country is the large equatorial forest, the land of myth and mystery. How many of them are there? No one knows. They live under the leaves, like elves or goblins. For many years, people have dismissed them as oddities for their small size and nudity. They don't produce anything. They hunt, gather, and sing. Their music is as old as the world. Some 4,500 years ago, Old Kingdom Egyptians discovered a strange people in the forests of the Upper Nile. Like us today, the Egyptians were amazed and charmed by the subtle beauty of the pygmy music and the sensuality of the dances. The pygmy hunters excelled at big game hunting. Elephants and gorillas were their favorite prey. They hunted them with spears, which is just about the same as hunting barehanded. My name is Louis Sarno. Motote? Leko? I was born in New Jersey, near New York City. After university, I left to live in Europe. One day, I heard a program about traditional African music on a Belgian radio station. I was amazed. I bought every recording I could find, but I could never get enough. I was obsessed by this music, so I decided to go there and record new songs. I landed in the Central African Republic in 1985, and I've been living with the Baka ever since. I got married here, 
I have children. I need to go into the forest with the baka. It's so reinvigorating. Here at the edge of the Bayanga National Park, a six hour walk from the village, they set up a hunting camp where they will stay for several weeks. I am fascinated by the complexity of the Baka polyphony. In a single song, a multitude of voices weave an extremely dense musical texture. sometimes moves me to tears. The Baka songs are the quintessence of the human voice. I hear the forest in their music. <laughs> 